Good day and welcome to Assisi High School of Secure Incorporated Commencement Exercises School Year 2020-2021. To begin, let us all feel the presence of the Lord as Reverend Father Leonardo L. Tan will conduct the opening prayer. And after, let us all sing together the Philippine National Anthem and the Sikihor Hymn. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, source of wisdom, knowledge, strength, and courage, we praise and thanks Thee for the protection You bestowed in our schools, for our administrators, faculty, and staff, as we journey through the school year 2020-2021. Amidst the pandemic, we continually deliver the quality of education that is demanded by our Department of Education through your guidance and enlightenment. Today, we celebrate the success of our graduates as they move forward to new places, new experiences, and new levels of education in their tertiary or college years. May they never forget your blessings to their school, which has given them a safe venue to learn and a strong foundation to build upon as they take this next step into your world. For their teachers who have richly loved them and cared for them in their worst times. For their families who have supported and cheered on them to the finish line and stood by their sides through bumps and turns in the road to success. For their classmates and friends, for their jokes and laughters, as well as the struggles and hardships they have endured during these trying times of COVID-19 pandemic. May the values of St. Francis of Assisi our patron saint through our alma mater, Assisi High School, that has molded our minds to knowledge and wisdom, leading our hearts to serve and love selflessly, and in the process, touching each other's lives, be their guiding principles that they carry beyond the walls of Assisi High School. And always believing and trusting that all these graces are coming from you are made evident in our lives. We ask you this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magibiw, kailas ng sigatanan, alam ng puso, sa titik mo'y buhay. Upang hinihinang, tuyang ka ng magiging, sa manlulupin, di ka pasisigil, sa nagatang.
Reverend Father Sadio Enrique N. Balungag, our school superintendent of the Diocesan Catholic Schools, the Reverend Father, in my capacity as acting principal of Assisi High School of Secure Incorporated, may I have the honor to present and recommend the following. Seven boys and six girls with a total of 13 candidates for completion of the kindergarten education course. Eight boys and six girls, a total of 14 candidates for graduation of the elementary education course. 57 boys and 56 girls with a total of 113 candidates for completion of the junior high school education course and 10 boys and 5 girls, a total of 15 candidates for graduation of the senior high school education course of Assisi High School of Secure Incorporated this school year 2020-2021 for your confirmation. Assisi High School, Sikihor, Sikihor. Declaration of Completers and Graduates. By virtue of the power granted to me by the Roman Catholic Bishop of Dumaguete, as Superintendent of Diocesan Schools of the Diocese of Dumaguete, after receiving the endorsement from the Office of the Principal of Assisi High School, Sikihor, Sikihor, as confirmed by the Office of the School Register, and after completing all the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education of the Republic of the Philippines, I hereby declare seven boys and six girls for a total of 13 pupils, completers of the kindergarten program, and therefore are eligible for promotion to grade one, eight boys and six girls for a total of 14 pupils, graduates of elementary and therefore are eligible for promotion to grade seven in junior high school, 57 males and 56 females 
for a total of 113 students eligible for promotion to grade 11 in senior high school, 15 males and 5 females for a total of 20 students, graduates of senior high school this school year, 2020, 2021, and are eligible for promotion to higher education in the coming school year. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the Kindergarten Completers and their awards. Anya's Ethan P. Happy Helper Award. Avanzado Eros Ralph A. Eager Beaver Award and Loyalty Award. Minyosa Franzrich R. Budding Mathematician Award and Loyalty Award. Orihenes Ray Savior A, Good Communicator Award. Pamailaon Dennis Jr. J, Brave Soul Award. Selim Francis Clint S. Word Weaver Award. Villa Flores Maxley Nino C. Budding Scientist Award. Lumuxo Agnes Gabriel G. Collaborative Kid Award. Marchan Ashley Prizes M. Courteous Kid Award. Ortiz Isihel Marie O. Golden Heart Award. Pilongo Zara Natalie S. Star Reader Award. Ponce Shanice Eliza J. Quantum Leap Award and Loyalty Award. Wolang Luna Sophia G. Determined Kid Award. Thank you. And congratulations, completers.
welcome the grade 6 graduates and their corresponding award. Angot Nino A. Academic Excellence Award, 94, with honors. Also receives Conduct Award, Loyalty Award. Balanai Maurice Fayview, Academic Excellence Award, 91, with honors. Also receives Conduct Award, Loyalty Award. Coretico Bry Michael L. Academic Excellence Award, 91, with honors. Also receives Conduct Award, Loyalty Award. Glimada Rayujan P. Academic Excellence Award, 94, with honors, honors in religion, 96, with high honors, also receives Conduct Award. Hinlayagan George Vincent A. Academic Excellence Award, 93, with honors, also receives Conduct Award, Loyalty Award. Look Art Paul B. Receives Conduct Award. Onge Hartchild Denver A. Academic Excellence Award, 93, with honors. Honors in Religion, 96, with high honors. Also receives Conduct Award, Loyalty Award. Paglinawan J. Emmanuel C. Academic Excellence Award, 94, with honors, also receives Conduct Award, Loyalty Award. Beltran Lian Sofia S. Academic Excellence Award, 94, with honors, honors in religion, 97, with high honors, also receives Conduct Award. Senas Erika Francin S. Academic Excellence Award, 91, with honors, also receives Conduct Award.
Apo Genesis May D. Academic Excellence Award, 96. With high honors, honors in religion, 98. With highest honors, also receives Conduct Award, Loyalty Award. Roble Keisha Lordy C. Academic Excellence Award, 97. With high honors, honors in religion, 99. With highest honors, also receives Conduct Award. Robio Zilke A. Academic Excellence Award, 92. With honors, also receives Conduct Award, Loyalty Award. Once again, congratulations! Nossa Maria Chifek Abi. Agan Gizel Ann. With an average grade of 94.38%. With honors. Apiag Charles Steve Lumacton Balos Alexa May Machon Balos Ian Wayne Lapini Bation Reiza Ondo Kalio Jerusha Ana Sumalpo. Kalunod Chelsea Agan. Chang Justin Dungon Kual Polycarp Agan
de la Serna J.B. Humawan.75% with honors. Malikai Reya Erich Baguio with an average grade of 89.88% with honors. Marquez with Lester Baguio. Joshua Omalza with an average grade of 90.25% with honors. Pokong Dolph Michael Okao. Robilios Jake Suan Ruiz Caril Castillo 
Castellón. Samson Athea Suzanne. With an average grade of 90.75% with honors. Samson Naisajid Makahidhi. Agan Maeve Isaiah Agan Marielle Mantabote Baliena Nathan Angelo Banasha Viana Lorraine Baro with an average grade of 90.13% with honors. Baroro Aaron Albatera. Tutay Edward Angelo Kazan Bonilia Hope Lajon
Antonjos Gian Dorothy Balasi. Caspis Aiden Humawa. Sanas Lorin Margaret Humawan Lapenia Karen Bangkiao. Inocencio Athea Lu Sumaga. grade of 91.88% with honors. Pinig Brialdem Rubio. with an average grade of 92.88% with Maglangit Roldan Makalisang Minyosa Giselle Tagat.
Minyoza Jenny Tagat. Padaihag Dayan Kate Piang with an average grade of 92.88% with honors Religion Our D. Padaihag Dayan Kaila Piang with an average grade of 93 Point sixty three per cent with honors religion our D Usod Hazel Ann Omalsa Salah Claire Dayan Chris Bitero with an average grade of 93% with honors, religion, our D. Samson Crystal May Duhailungsod with an average grade of 91.66% with honors. Selim Jan Philip Maghanoy Senerpida Alvin Alvarico Shin Baroro with an average grade of 92% with honors. Sugano Kambarihan Sharin D. Balolo with an average grade of 90% with honors Kogo Jeremy Selim
di Gulashon Levy Marie Bulangis with an average grade of 90.88% with honors. Delmo Kaira Bate with an average grade of 93.88% with honors. Duhay Lungsud Neil Mark Salim. Zedneo Kalumi Flores Miley Rich Avril Gabin with an average grade of 90.13% with honors. Gapol Gianlois Maghanoy with an average grade of 90.50% with honors. Gonzales Marie Evans Velha Iktin with an average grade of 92.63% with honors. Walo Ace Jaron Clifford Bungabung. Humawan Rosnell Mashon. With an average grade of 92.75% with honors. Lumuxo Alaysa Ponce with an average grade of 91% with honors.
Samson, Ninyo Janzel Spencer, Sumailo. Samson, Nobert Carl Inocencio. Samson Shaquille Carl with an average grade of 89.88% with honors. Salim Francis Mark Heaven. Salim Joseph Hansel Fail. Salim Princess Erich Magabu. Jason Mark Romano Tato Pres Kyle Batislaong Tumaroy Librado the Third Tangkalagan Tubo April Joy Intong with an average grade of 91.50% with honors Welcome to Singer High School Graduate School Year 2020-2021. Alvarico Blanda Yvonne. Atay, Francis Ayan Tahu. Bold Samantha Dohai Longso. Fabo Gaius Zander Roger Pica. The book has the 
featured Rudolfo Ango with honors with an average of 92%, also honors in religion and conduct the law. Miraga Nelmiko Tano. Umawan J. Marie Yuwang. Humawan Rojavi Mashon. Malika. Rich Daryl Bakio. Perez, Francis Ray Comanse. Robier, John Dean Duhalo. Yano Rafinchaid Selim, with honors, with an average of 93% and also honors in religion and conduct award. Dear principals, teachers, students, and parents, there can be many descriptions to say about this year's commencement exercises and batch of graduates. We can say that this exercise truly observes social distancing as graduates, as well as the rest of the community, participate from their homes. And the batch of graduates can be labeled the lockdown batch or the quarantine batch. Lockdown because the final year was spent at home in lockdown. Quarantine, because among all the graduating batches, our diocesan schools have ever produced. This is the only batch that has possibly experienced all kinds of quarantine. This year's commencement exercise is unique. In fact, it is uniquely virtual. I'm speaking to you all the way from Dumaguete, and everyone is watching perhaps using the Facebook page of the institution. This year's batch is special, in fact, meaningfully special. In the midst of all the difficulties in the teaching learning process, our diocesan schools, like many other Catholic institutions in the country, did all they could to implement a learning con continuity program that ensures quality education of the youth even in times of emergencies, crises, and disruptions. There probably was difficulty in the course of the delivery of services, but given the restrictions and the limitations, it was able to prepare you the best way it could for life beyond. The institutions calibrated their support services and infrastructure 
for the flexible rollout of its educational mission to cover as many students as possible, regardless of distance and condition. Our diocesan schools believe education and training the youth cannot stop all because of a pandemic. A nation's future is largely dependent upon the sustained education and nonstop training information of young people like you. Halting the delivery of education can further drag our country down and can take its people to a level more critical than where it is now. On behalf of the Catholic Educational Association of the Philippines, particularly the Catholic Educational Association of the Philippines Negros Island, on behalf of the Diocese of Dumaguete, I congratulate all the students who gave their performance this year, their best shot, even in the midst of uncertainty and the fear of local transmission and contracting the virus. I congratulate parents for bravely making both ends meet and lovingly supporting their children's education until the final moment. Things definitely were not easy. Console yourselves by the thought that nothing that is truly good comes easy. I also congratulate the selfless dedication of the men and women who work behind the scenes the principals and teachers, the school personnel and lay collaborators, the priests in the island and their parish communities for supporting the creative navigation of the school year in ways never seen and done before. Moving forward, what aspects of our pandemic experience can we bring with us as we pursue life beyond the walls of our alma mater? In other words, what lessons can we get from the year that was and how can we bring these lessons to life beyond high school? What happened to us during the entire lockdown period made us realize that life today can be very volatile, meaning anything can change anytime and under any circumstance. Conditions and situations, in other words, can be very fluid. As a result, life can be very uncertain. No one really knows and is sure what to expect the year after, the month after, or even the week after. What is even more difficult is life today with the various informations at hand, with the various models at hand, has become very complex. We all are part of, larger, of a larger network of things, issues, and concerns. What happens in one place can have adverse effects in another place. The virus that started to spread in China affected the entire world. And Sikihor was never spared from this. In other words, we live life not independently, but as part of a global community. We all get our share of life's flow. Things can also be very ambiguous. Things may not be clear. Now, how does a graduate of a diocesan Catholic school live with a world that is called VUCA, meaning a world that is volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous? Scripture has something to share with us. Scripture's response also comes in the form of VUCA. First, for V, be vigilant. Jesus in the Gospel keeps emphasizing the need for us to be awake and vigilant, for nobody knows the day nor the hour. Vigilance means preparing and getting ready for anything that surfaces, for anything that comes along and gets in the way of life. Rising above emergencies, crises, and disruptions requires vigilance and resilience to respond to anything not planned and not part of a routine. The true mark of a vigilant or resilient individual is one's ability to sustain one's life and operation, even when there are disruptions, emergencies, and crises. Life cannot stop 
all because something else other than what is planned comes along. Life continues. Here, we realize that life is definitely much, much larger than the crises and emergencies we meet in life. We saw this in this pandemic. Life never stopped. Life continued and went on despite all the lockdowns. Second, you means unite. No one can do things in life alone. When sectors are locked up because of the pandemic, another sector comes along to help and extend assistance. United we stand, divided we fall, as an old song goes. In scripture, we, re we read how Jesus prayed for the unity of humanity. He said, Father, let them be one, just as you and I are one. No pandemic can put a people down if everyone is united. My dear graduates, you may have learned a lot in school, but if there is one learning that you should continue to nurture, it is the skill of dealing with people or relating to people. Once Or one may have all the intelligence there is in this world, but if one does not know how to deal with people, nothing will happen to him. In other words, the call is for you to be a team player, to be a team builder. Third, C for be charitable. St. Paul says that among the three theological virtues of faith, hope, and love, the greatest is love. No crisis can topple down a person who is full of charity, the kind that leads one to do something good for someone or for the other. You heard about the community pantry that has been done by several groups across the country and even beyond the Philippines. You heard about how people were sharing during the pandemic. All these are man manifestations of charity, of love. In other words, there is hope in humanity as long as charity is manifest. The essence, in fact, of Christian formation lies in loving. And if you don't love at all, it seems as if you never received Christian formation during your years of stay in our diocesan schools in Sikihor. The fourth letter is A. And it stands for aspire. Aspire for something big and great. Look beyond and see where you want your life to be. Life is not always about what it is, remember. It is about what it becomes. We all can be better. Aim for the better. Go for that. My dear graduates, there is a big world waiting for all of you out there. Never let any disruption or crises ever stop you from pursuing your life. Walk towards that life or dream. Henry David Thoreau captures that thought very well. He says, and I quote, Go in the direction of your dreams and live the life you have imagined. Congratulations, my dear graduates. God bless you all. God be with you. Batch 2021.